Hello everyone, welcome to Key to Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can improve your block loading speed in WordPress. So here I am using the Pop Matters plugin but you can use WP Rocket plugin or Lightspeed Cache plugin in your WordPress website. So here I will show you how you can set up the Pop Matters plugin in your WordPress website and make it core web vitals friendly. So let me just go to the website and let me just copy the block URL and I will go to page speed inside tool and I will enter the website URL here and I will click on analyze and let me just scroll down and as you can see the page speed is around 66 and it is not passing the core web vitals and when I check this it will show huge next gen format images in WordPress and when I click on render blocking resources it will show some CSS library here and let me just click on reduce on your JavaScript and CSS. So you can fix this issue by using the pop matters plugin and as you can see it is showing default off screen images. So you can fix this by implementing the lazy load images in your WordPress website and let's scroll down and as you can see the total page size is around 1780 kv so let's fix this issue so for this i will go to my wordpress dashboard and go to the plugins and click on add new and i will upload the pop matters plugin by the way pop matters plugin is a paid plugin and the wp rocket also a paid plugin or you can use a free plugin like lightspeed cache if your server is based on lightspeed so let's upload the pop matters plugin so i will click on upload and i will choose the file and i will click on install now okay now the plugin is uploaded let me just activate this plugin and let me just go to the settings and go to the pop matters option and as you can see here you will see a lot of options one is general then asset preloading lazy loading font analytics so let me just disable the emoji so it disable the emoji and load the emoji from the computer and i can also disable dash icons and i can disable xml rpc and i can hide the wp version i am using in this wordpress website now i can disable the self ping back option and i can also disable google maps if you are not using google maps then you can select this option and here you can also disable comments and let me just change the heartbeat frequency to 30 seconds and i can limit the post revision to 5 and i can change the auto save interval to 2 minute and you can also change the login URL of your WordPress website but I don't do that here and let me just save this now if you are using WooCommerce then you can also disable script or card fragmentation or status beta box so I don't do that here now let me just go to assets and I will select the D for JavaScript option and i will select the include jquery option but make sure to check if your website is loading properly or not after enabling the jquery now i can select the delay javascript option and i can delay some script like analytics code or adsense code so let me just open this web page and here you can delay some javascript like analytics account so i will copy this code from here so this basically delay the google analytics added in your website so let me just paste it and i will click on enter and let's scroll down and i will scroll down and if you are using google tag manager then you can copy this code and let's copy the adsense code from here 
and I will paste it here. So this basically lazy load the Google AdSense in your WordPress website. So in this way you can lazy load different codes like Facebook Pixel, Google AdSense, Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager and I will change the timeout setting so I can leave this to none and I will click on save and here you can directly paste the code in the footer section by using this code manager block and I will click on save okay now let's go to the preloading option you can also enable instant preloading option in your WordPress website so whenever someone scroll a link it will load that HTML part of the page in the background and whenever someone click on the page it will load the page very quickly so it is a very good option so I can enable it from here so I will click on enable instant page and you can also preload some important features so when I go to page speed and scroll down the option like avoid changing critical request so here you can some copy the URL like this and you can go to pop matters and paste the url here and click on add new so in this way you can copy this link and then paste it in the pop matters preload section so in this way you can preload your important resources and load the website faster and you can also use the pre-connect feature and dns prefetch feature so for this i will click on save so preload basically load the important resources before the website loading so you will not get the error like avoid changing critical request so make sure to preload that request but don't put so many requests in the preload section otherwise it will not work properly now let's go to the lazy loading and here i will enable the image lazy loading here and i can exclude the leading two images from lazy loading so it will not lazy load the above the fold part so as you can see this is the image in the hero section and i don't want to lazy load this image so i can simply exclude this image and lazy load all other images so as there is two images in the above the fold part so i can select two excluding image and let me just enable the lazy loading of videos and I will click on YouTube preview thumbnails so it will show a preview of the YouTube thumbnails and it will not load the entire iframe in the web page and whenever someone click on the iframe it will load the backend code now let me just save changes now let's click on font and here you can swap out the actual font with the system font and here you can disable Google font altogether and click on save changes and you can also enable the CDN to your website and let's click on analytics and you can also enable local analytics and you can also add the tracking ID here and here you can anonymize IP or you can disable display features so I don't use this feature okay let's go to the page speed insight and let me just read on this test so before the score is 66 so let's click on analyze here okay now scroll down and as you can see the page speed has improved significantly in mobile and as the website is a e-commerce website we can just remove everything from this website and load the page super fast but you can at least improve the page loading speed now scroll down and and as you can see the page size has also decreased a little bit and before it was more than 2000 kb but now it is loading just 1300 kb in the front end so in this way you can improve your block loading speed in wordpress and you can also use wp rocket plugin or you can use the light speed cache plugin in your wordpress website so let me just read on this test again and as you can see the space speed is quite good and you can also remove the unnecessary plugin from your website to improve the speed further and let me just break down this and as you can see out of 
टोटल 1297 kb इमेज इज टेकिंग अराउंड 900 kb सो व्हिच इज अराउंड 80% ऑफ द पेज साइज सो यू कैन ऑप्टिमाइज द इमेज ऑफ योर वेबसाइट बाय यूजिंग प्लगइन्स लाइक शॉर्ट पिक्सेल सो आई विल गो टू प्लगइन्स एंड क्लिक ऑन ऐड न्यू एंड आई विल सर्च फॉर शॉर्ट पिक्सेल and i will install this plugin so i have already made a dedicated video on how to set up the short pixel in your wordpress website so it will automatically optimize the images and load the webp format images in the front end so you can watch this video to optimize your images in wordpress i hope you got the idea how to improve your block loading speed using the pop matters plugin so here you can enable lazy loading of analytics code lazy loading of adsense code and you can also further preload some certain codes huge lazy loading of images or lazy loading of iframes so there is a lot of options that you can get in the pop matters plugin and if this video is helpful to you then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe to youtube blogging thank you